Namaste. Good morning. Come on. Morning here, at least. It's really morning here. I'm just going to see if I can get us a bit more level. Yeah, still able to see what's going on. Hey, okay. So, it is early morning here in Dublin. It is not quite 6.10 a.m. yet. My gate won't be announced until 6.10 a.m. So I don't even know where I'm supposed to go to my gate. So I'm going to do a short class, probably aiming for about 15 minutes of just some prep work for the flight. Um, common theme these days is these classes tend to be on my travel days, and I tend to be traveling quite a bit right now. So I'm headed from Dublin, where I went to an amazing Jeff Tweedy solo concert last night. Oh my gosh, it was incredible. Shout out to Ma and Pa Stokes for uh, accommodating me while I've been in town. And uh, now I'm headed to Berlin. Shout out to Nondescripto, who doesn't live on Facebook. Uh, he lives in Berlin, though. So I'm going to go see Nondescripto, do some yoga. As soon as my body lets me go into a yoga class and not feel like I can't move. Uh, but yeah, so if you've seen the description, I uh, got a bit of a bike crash on Sunday night. Uh, I was going downhill, landed pretty hard on the left side of my body, but that means the bike landed partly on the, I don't know, the bike seems to have hit me everywhere. I'm bruised where I'm from the bike where I'm not bruised from the earth. So, yeah, um, so I'll be taking it easy. This is really just a class to get the blood flow going so that I don't feel the pressure of the plane quite so much. So join me for that if that feels like something you're up for. I don't know if I'll show you around the airport after, but I might if the Wi-Fi is still holding out. All right. Namaste. Take a comfortable seat. Oh, I'm just going to sit on my heels today because sitting on some cross leg isn't going to feel so great. My left hip is really where my TFL becomes my IT band. This bruise in the outer edge of my knee, outer edge of my ankle, my right Jim is bruised. Oh, I'm a mess. How are you doing today? <sighs> Take a couple of breaths to settle. Sing one ohm together. Exhale. Inhale. Sit like I'm sitting. Sit feet together. Sit on your heels. If your feet come apart a little bit, that's fine. Adrasana. And stretch the tops of your feet. Despite my limited mobility, I managed to walk around Dublin a little bit yesterday. And the streets, a lot of the streets are cobbled, so it's a lot of like adjusting movement as you're walking. So my ankles, my feet are particularly tired. But this is a great stretch for getting the blood flow I feel happening in my feet and in my calves and also to stretch out the, that work of we do so much of the really thing we do stretch, of moving our feet to take, hold ourselves up stretch the tops of your feet push down through your toes and then stretch the fronts of your ankles if this hurts the fronts of your ankles it can be too much stretch for some people you can roll your mat up and shove your mat underneath your ankles, or you can put a blanket or a, like a, a towel underneath there. Just roll it up, slide it underneath, it'll support that area of the ankle. Your 
Jesus ran in front of you? Let's see, I'm just gonna move the camera down a little bit because I'm gonna do mostly seated and this one may fall down. Stretch your legs straight, pull your butt back a little bit. Press your hands into the ground. I'm doing That's a noisy rolling bag. I wonder what Minecraft fans are. I'm doing fist stamps, because it's a little bit gross to touch the floor. That right over there, I'll be washing my hands just directly after class, don't you worry. Here comes noisy bag again. Help sit up tall, move where your belt buckle would be down, move your lower back in. And if in order to feel like your pelvis is balanced and neutral, you need to bend your knees, just bend your knees. You're bending your knees, hold the backs of your legs, and pull towards you so that you can sit up a little straighter. Move your shoulders down, lengthen through the sides of your torso. Don't lift through your chin, lift up through all sides of your neck. Now everybody bend your knees so much that you can bring your chest onto your legs. Ooh, gotta adjust my jeans, they're getting annoying. Ah. So hold the other edges of your feet your chest to your thighs or close to your thighs. And then pull on your feet. Lengthen through your spine. Stretch it out. Move your shoulders down. Lengthen through your spine. Pull your chest to your thighs. Pull on your feet. Push your feet in your hands. So it's like a tug of war with your feet. away from you a little bit, keep your chest and your thighs. Yeah. Keep your chest on your thighs, but move your feet away from you more if you can. If you want to keep going to full Paschimottanasana, you can as long as you can keep your chest on your thighs. It's my rule for today, chest on thighs when it's posed. Don't be in a rush. Although, you know, we're surrounded by people here who are in a rush. It's the airport. So I try to slow down a little bit. Just breathe. Once you're here, there's little you can do to speed things up. Move your belt buckle area down. Move your butt back a little bit. Stretch through your spine. Holding your legs, lift your head and chest. Sit up. I'm gonna try sitting cross-legged. Sit cross-legged. Do a nice open one. Won't be here long. I'm kind of edge of my ankles. A little wrecked. Just do a little seated twist. Your right hand hold above your left knee. Touch your left hand to your sacrum behind you. Sit up tall. Turn your pelvic floor and twist. Center, switch sides, hold above your right knee with your left hand, 
place your right hand on the middle of your lower back uh, on your sacrum. Tone your pelvic floor and twist. Tone your pelvic floor, sit up tall and twist. Move where your belt buckle would be down, draw your lower back in, sit up tall. Feel like I'm doing with your chin so it's parallel to the ground, whatever that means. Not down like I was doing. I was like, oh, like, oh, lazy head, tired head. Come back to center. Interlace your fingers in front of you, push your palms away from you, and stretch your arms up. Draw your belly in, lift up through the back of your ribs. Push your index knuckle up, pull your baby finger down. Release your hands. Oh, it's time to do money changing stuff, so I should probably get out of their business. <laughs> Sounds more intimate than it is. I'm really in their business, literally. Let's do another twist. Twist to the left, like we just did. Probably whip this across me. Lift your chin parallel to the ground. Twist to the right. Chin parallel to the ground. Sit up tall. Come back to center. Okay, I should probably go check to see what gate I'm on. That's got my blood flowing. That's got the my oxygen moving through me. It's, I feel much better now. I feel much more awake, much more prepared for maybe some sleeping on the plane. Like waking up doesn't have to mean to wake up. So open my body up. I feel a little bit better. I hope you do too. Thanks for watching. Um, I'll give you just a quick little show around, some, some Irish uh, tourist t-shirts and stuff before we go. Bring your hands to your heart. Close your eyes. Our practice doesn't always have to be an hour, two hours, three hours to be useful. Use the time you've got. Okay, so that's class done. We'll let uh, primary tax refund get to work. <laughs> and I will just give you a little quick look at some tourist tap before I go. <clears throat> Let's see what we've got here. I'm going to take off the... Oh no, I think with the wide angle you'll get to an even better idea. Just how much tourist hat you can buy so much. And this is just the Irish themed tourist hat. So, I mean, you wouldn't want to see me dressed as a beardy leprechaun. This is, so this is just the Irish themed uh, tourist hat because just across the road from the Irish theme. Oh. <laughs> Oh, so clever. I don't really hear people say fuck it that much, but it's grand, definitely. So then, just across the way, you've got the Guinness store. <laughs> yeah, everything Guinness. I know, I don't know why Facebook won't allow this image to be flipped around. It's so annoying that everything's backwards. Um, I could do this, though. Take off the wide angle. Turn it around, and then the Guinness store is right way around for you. All things Guinness. And then, all things Irish. Or at least, all things purporting to be Irish, and really just being something you might buy if you forgot to get your gifts somewhere else in the country. All right, so I always feel a bit weird filming in airports, and I'm never sure when security's going to come and tell me off. So before that happens, this time I'm going to go check my gate, get on a plane, and next week I will be in Berlin, 
and uh, I'll be doing class from somewhere in Berlin, probably nondescript as flat. Cool? Namaste. Thanks, everybody.